In fact, the cost of unaddressed hearing loss is the staggering nearly trillion dollars annually. They know the consequences. So there are pros and cons to that because uh, as physicians and scientists, we also know what's good for people. And if that information is not widely disseminated or if it's not widely accessible, which our conversation today clearly illustrates it's not, then having some regulation in place to protect us all is a good thing. Yeah, I mean, we don't allow people to dump certain chemicals into the sewer, go down the drain, yes. because we understand the toxicity of that. What we're talking about here is sensory-induced damage to the nervous system, Yes, I mean, which is no joke. Mm -hmm. It's just as serious to me as a chemical that somebody might put into, you know, uh, the drinking water, and I mean, you don't want that. So um, I think it's very important that we're highlighting uh, these, these topics. That directly links to what you mentioned before, the importance of hearing for emotional uh, communication, for relational well-being, and for cognition. So now there is mounting evidence for a strong link between hearing loss and dementia. It's not that everyone with hearing loss will develop dementia. So I really want the listeners to feel reassured that they don't need to run home and purchase hearing aids right away. It but the relationship between hearing loss and loss of cognition, mm -hmm. what we call age-related dementia, people normally hear the word dementia and they think, oh, Alzheimer's, but the reality is we're all going to lose some cognition um, speed or some other aspect of it uh, with time. And uh, it seems that vision loss and hearing loss are profoundly linked to age-related dementia. And I wonder if you could just um, speculate uh, on whether you think that has to do with how hearing loss in this case you know, changes our behaviors and then causes loss of, of neurons in other areas of the brain in the same way that, for instance, if, if I had chronic ankle pain on my left side, I'd probably take the stairs less. So then you say, you take the stairs less, you get less fit, cardiovascular fitness declines over time. And, you know, did did the ankle actually cause the cardiovascular uh, issue? Not directly, but indirectly, in the same way that if, if hearing is challenging, we're less likely to interact socially, which also feeds back on dementia. Is that how it works, or is there a direct link to unplugging some of the auditory input? We think that it's both. The indirect link is super well established because we know that hearing loss leads to social isolation, to depression, and cognitive decline.